Forget everything you thought you knew about extinction. The asteroid that killed the dinosaurs? That was just a bad day. The real killer wasn't from space. It was from right here on Earth. 252 million years ago, the planet was a paradise. Giant reptiles, strange mammal-like creatures, and sprawling forests covered the land. Life was thriving. But beneath the surface, something was building. Deep in what we now call Siberia, the ground began to tremble. Not an earthquake. Something far, far worse. The Earth's crust ripped open. Not just one volcano, but thousands of fissures tore across the landscape, stretching for hundreds of miles. Fountains of lava, hotter than anything imaginable, shot miles into the sky. Rivers of molten rock, wider than entire cities, flooded the continent, burning everything in their path. Forests vanished in an instant. The air filled with toxic gas and superheated ash, choking the life out of anything that breathed. The oceans weren't safe. The toxic rain turned the water acidic, dissolving the shells and skeletons of marine creatures. The water became a graveyard. This wasn't a quick event. It was a relentless volcanic apocalypse that lasted for nearly a million years. The Siberian Trap's eruptions were so massive, they released enough lava to bury the entire United States half a mile deep. This was the Great Dying, the Permian-Triassic extinction event, the single worst catastrophe in the history of complex life. 95% of all species on Earth were wiped out, gone, erased from existence. The planet became a barren wasteland, a ghost world haunted by the shadows of what was lost. And this wasn't the only time our planet tried to wipe itself clean. In fact, it was just one of five great extinctions, and the forces that caused them are still here.